Cadence, the KGC Show, with Cowboy Cadence, the KGC Show, with Cowboy Cadence, everybody know, oh, 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 everybody know, oh, 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 the KGC Show, yeehaw! What is going on everybody, it's KGC here, and you'll never believe who our guest is. Hey, she wrote the theme song to our show, the soundtrack of our lives, and we love her here. <laughs> today, today, she released her brand new song off of her brand new rock and roll record, Danny Land Records, well, Danny's Diamonds, and her brand new single is called You Got Me Thinking of You. Here is the multi-talented America's and Australia's sweetheart, Danny Stefanetti. Danny, how you doing, Hi. my friend? Hello, thank you for having me, Caden, and it's always a thrill to come on your show. You were one of the first podcasts to ever put me on in America, and what a wild journey it's been the last year, hasn't it? And you've watched watched it grow, and I've watched your career grow, and it's just been really fun. Yeah, man, and, and what a career it has been. The last time I talked to you, you just released that Big Bear from Live Out, Big Bear, and that sold out. You know, that was selling pretty fast. Yeah, it was selling really fast. And we actually submitted it for the Grammys this year. And um, it, it kind of went above my expectations. And, I, you know, I signed a lot of copies and put a lot of koala bears on them. And I, I'm hoping people are enjoying it so much. But we're already on to this next record. So I'm really excited about this latest single that dropped today. Well, I... I want to hear how that song, You Got Me Thinking of You, came to be about. Well, actually, my manager, Jeff Panza, and collaborator, was he, he said, write this in your notes. You got me thinking of you. This could be a really good headline. And for a song, you know, and um, we, I usually write by myself. Like, I usually write songs, you know, especially coming from Perth, Australia. I just go into my, you know, music room and, and I used to just be very isolated and playing guitar for hours, just writing. But when Jeff had that idea, um, and we all know he's quite a genius, uh, he, he's mentored you a lot as well. So um, that, that line kind of, I thought about it a little bit more and I was, you know, jamming to I want to hold your hand type chords by the Beatles. So I started playing the D and the B minors and that. And next thing I, I got on the phone with Jeffrey and I said, Hey, let's let's I think we got a song here. You got me thinking of you again and again. You got me thinking of you again and again. You're going around in my head. Oh, that sounds pretty good. What do you think that could be the chorus? Yeah, 15 minutes later. It's a Tuesday. Drink my coffee. Yeah, that's all right. Watch the TV. Go to the city, watch a movie. You got me thinking. I think we got the curse as well. And then we did just it literally wrote itself. Fifteen minutes later, we listened back and we we're like, I think we should record it. And that was the first one we did for the album. And we listened back with all the keyboards and guitar layers. It was the first time I learned how to produce from scratch. You know, put all the guitars, vocals, mix, master. Um, and Jeffrey was doing it all virtually with me, like, put this here, put that there. And we listened to it back, the first mix. And we kind of, like, I could hear the silence on the phone. He was like, I think this is this is a really magical song. <laughs> and we, I'm glad that was the first one because it gave us the courage to keep going with the rest of the album. So talk to us, and, and it's a great Rail Witten song. And before you play it, I want to talk to you about it being the number one song for two weeks in a row in the UK. What was that experience? What is that like for you coming from Australia? And I know, and I know we talked a little bit about this earlier on our Instagram. Shameless plug. Go watch Danny's Instagram story for that. Um, yes. <clears throat> but I know we talked about that earlier. But what was it like when you got the news that you hit number one? What, what were you thinking? Well, I want to thank... A lot, I think a lot of the votes came from my fans on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So, and I think a lot of the votes came from my American fans. But also, thank you to all the UK people that are watching and Australian and all over the world. Say hello, whatever country you're joining us from, a city. 
Um, when I got the number one in the UK, I was blown away because, um, you know, my songs haven't ranked like that on the charts before, and that's not even my home country, London. So I like to thank all the UK radio stations that have been playing it and all over the world. Um, I hope to one day tour there. And I think it's bloody brilliant. I'm going to say it in English accent. I think it's bloody brilliant. Well, that song is bloody brilliant. And I think, uh, and uh, I'm not sure if that's the same. It's a compliment. Trust me. I Thank promise. You. It's amazing. Uh, oh. You know, we're live, everybody. So if you have questions yeah. for Danny, come on and ask oh, us. No. Any Anything can happen here. <laughs> exactly. We can have a Caden and Danny moment. And. We can have a Caden moment that Jeff Panzer and I and Danny will never let down for the rest of our lives. Exactly. That's and, you know, I, I've i been on Instagram Live today. You actually jumped on. And I, I waited till about 2.30 to go and get lunch. And anybody that knows me loves knows how much I love Thai food. And so I went, I, I was, luckily I got to go, Caden, because otherwise I would have been late for y'all. And I don't like to be late, but I did get my Thai tea. And this stuff is just amazing. I don't know if you've tried it, Thai tea. It's like no, half I, and half and Thai. Yeah, it's really, really good. But anyway. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, I don't think I've ever tried Thai tea. I, I, it could be total. It's very sweet. Hold on. Now. We're live. We've lost Caden. Yeah. Hold on. What the hell happened? Hello, everybody. Well, anyway, this is the, it's now the Danny and Caden show. And I'm going <laughs> to, we're going to take a moment, a segue break. And and while we're having a segment break, so we're finding Caden in the blackout, um, we're going to play his theme song again before we, we uh, get to the next segment of the show. We lost our host. <laughs> Uh-oh, Danny's going to take over for all of it. <laughs> The KGC Show with Cowboy Caden. The KGC Show with Cowboy Caden. Where did he go? Oh, 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 oh. Where did he go? Oh, oh, oh. KGC Show. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I do not know where he's gone, but I think I can hear something. Can you hear me? Are you there? But I can't see you, Caden. Okay. Well, my face really doesn't matter, but my questions do. But, uh, you know, they can look at that ugly mug all the rest of the show uh, or the black screen. Anyway, but talk to us. Uh, talk to us a little bit about some of the instruments that you have on this song. And, and what was it like putting this uh, arrangements together? It was one of the most, one of the funnest experiences I've ever had building it from scratch. Um, when I was more of a teenager, um, I, I would mess around with the four track and the eight track with acoustic instruments. But this, I, I learned how to, um, you know, use the, the software and everything and, and pulling up every track and I got this new interface and microphones and kind of was building my own studio. It was really interesting because I usually start with a guide track with the voice and guitar and built it to a tempo. And one thing led to another. It just felt right. I, I got my um, – played the bass and put out electric layers and uh, ended up getting out um, a MIDI keyboard and, and putting down pads and things like that. So what else has this song got? It's got a lot of harmonies and, of course, the tambourine. I've got a lot of tambourine in there. <laughs> Um, I just love how it, it, the sounds came, come in and out and it, it builds the feeling of the song, especially that key change on the last chorus. Mm -hmm. There's these little diamonds I call um, on the electric guitar. They're like kind of on the high end going under the whole song, you know. Yeah. And they're kind of it's a basic theme of the whole album. It's got a lot of dreamy guitar riffs. Um it kind of sound magical, you know, but once you put it all together, it kind of feels in that space. So there's a lot of guitar layers because that's my prime instrument. So, yeah, we it, it kind of uh, isn't – the simplicity of that song is what worked, I, I believe, because that actually had less tracks than some of the other songs. Yeah, and, you know, it, it's one of the 
other songs that I heard uh, before before we get because I really want to promote this record too, uh, yeah. Danny Land Record uh, coming out here, uh, or Danny's Diamonds. I'm having a bunch of Caden moments tonight, and <laughs> that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> but no, uh, talk to us a bit, little bit about you put Cowbell on a song. Did I hear that right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, we almost were going to do some accordion as well. So um, this record, some of my musical production references for this record were Brian Adams, John Mellencamp, Rolling Stones, um, and Mark Knopfler kind of uh, reverbs for the guitar. Like that were a lot of my production influences and the Beatles. Um, so I guess the cowbell came in because since – that Pacific track, which is called I Got Rock and Roll in My Soul, Rock and Roll in My Soul it's called, mm -hmm. and uh, that song's really got a Southern American, Deep South kind of vibe to it. So it's got those, like, big harmonies, um, you know, like full band, brass section, horns, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So in those little breaks, we put the cowbell in um, and it just worked. Uh, you would, I never thought I'd put cowbell in my music, but yeah, <laughs> we got the Saturday Night Live. I don't know if anybody's seen the Saturday Night. Yeah, the Mississippi Queen by Mountain. It's got that kind of vibe to it. It's like get up on your feet and like yeah. I got rock and roll, rock and roll in my soul, and then. give away the rest of the song you guys have to wait but <laughs> we have really fun. we have oh i'm oh I, man i cannot wait to hear that song man that <laughs> that, that you song you gotta get up on your feet and grab someone and grab a tambourine for that one that's right you gotta grab one of those church tambourines for that one <laughs> <laughs> put a little look put a little jesus in that uh rock and yeah. roll rock and roll <laughs> My soul. Ooh, da, da, da. Yeah, it's got those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, Danny, you know, we've talked so much about you've got me feeling like you. I feel like it's only over lives. And, you know, I think the KGC show fans and listeners are the best people to have a podcast for and have, oh. have are some of the best viewers. So I think we should treat them to a very live special performance of the one and only Danny Stefanetti performing her brand new song, You Got Me Thinking of You, that is out everywhere today. Make sure that you go stream it. And make sure that you get her number one on our iTunes chart right here in the U.S. of A. Danny? Let's do it together. Let's guys. rock and roll. All right. Oh, um, question. When will Danny sing with William Lee Golden, their duet? Well, when will is that? Are you saying something, Caden? No, go ahead. Um, well, William and I have been writing together, so keep keep an eye, and that's all I can say right now. But keep an eye on that. But I really enjoyed writing two songs with William. Okay. <laughs> But very soon, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's Tuesday, drink my coffee, watch TV, go to the city, watch a movie. You got me thinking. Boy. 
eyes on the phone I get this feeling deep inside Makes me come alive The incompetible Danny Stefanetti, the incredibly talented Danny Stefanetti. Danny, I want to, I've been doing these, I'm not sure how much of my show, of the show you watch, but, uh, cause I know you're a very busy individual, but, uh, I want to do a little rapid fire Q and A, uh, with you as, as we, uh, and if some of our guests too can, uh, or some of our comments can do it. As well, too. But we're just going to have fun with it, man. And That's and um, I think um, I think we'll have a lot of fun. This is a new segment on the show. And uh, it came from my brain one day. I said, do a rapid fire with one somebody. And I said, a new addition. Uh, you never know what you never know what KGC could be doing here. But uh, Danny, what's yeah. your what's your favorite ice cream? Pistachio ice cream. Do you know that green one? Yeah. Oh, it's so yummy. And also rum and raisin. That one, they they usually have that one at Christmas time. It's really good. It's got like the cherries in it as well and the sultanas. What is your favorite Christmas tradition? Um, well, I love going to church at Christmas time and I also love going with my friends around the Christmas lights and seeing all the lights. But it's a dream one day to go to New York and see Christmas time in New York because I'd love to see it when it's snowing and all the lights are out. But Christmas time, um, I just, yeah, I love watching all the decorations and being around family at that time. Yeah. What's your What's your favorite Christmas song? Oh, uh, I love, um, I'll be home for Christmas, you can count on me. And, um, what's the other one? Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, and the very next day, you gave it away. <laughs> I don't know why that one's so catchy, but I like quite a few of them. Man, of you know, I think that, it, I think that particular Last Christmas is the most annoying Christmas song in the entire nation but danny <laughs> version please record that and then we're obviously mariah carey and anything by michael buble I, I i have to say i love listening to michael buble christmas time well ladies and gentlemen what we are going to do here is because uh this camera thing is really bugging myself and a buddy of mine uh you can only imagine who a uh, buddy of mine is uh what we are going to do ladies and gentlemen is instead of, I, I want to do this, and I think Danny deserves the respect that she deserves. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this entire podcast and the entire questions one more time again, because I am getting tired of looking at my ugly mug and the face I made when Danny, uh, when I got my personal phone call. So what we're going to do is we are going to restart, but we will be right back in one minute and 60 seconds. With the KGC show with Cowboy Caden. And Danny, you don't even have to take us out because we will be right back. Exactly. All right. Okay. See you guys. See you in one minute. One minute, y'all. <laughs> 